Hello everyone, this is LW Gaming and welcome to a video of some sort. <laughs> uh, anyways, this is somewhat of an unusual thing to upload today. So anyways, uh, what I'm going to show you right here is that uh, in the past few uh, few seasons, I've been thinking maybe I should have my alt do some kind of an apex as well, not just my main account. But I just hold back the idea because, you know, it does take a lot of time to like, to, to like... Did I do Apex Arenas matches? So yep, that go that applies to both my main account and the other accounts I played. And this is one of the alt accounts that, that I have that has started Apex Arena Journey. So yep, this season, uh, my alt account, uh, Lillian, have um have made it to the bronze one, which is a good start at least. I I believe bronze three is the lowest rank I think, but I might be wrong here. But I think bronze. Yeah, I, I kind of think Bronze 3 is actually the lowest, as far as I know. But however, having Lillian starting at Bronze 1 is actually surprising, actually. I, I thought I'm going to get destroyed on the on the first try on this account for Apex. But thankfully, Zilong is actually nice on the uh, matchmaking system. So, like, it let me match only players who are just, like, at the, at the same level as this one. Which is, of course, below average. And, uh, and as you can see here, these are the heroes that I have on the strongest five. And, uh, and you notice those stats there, they aren't there, but although Granny is not used at all in this kind of battle. Although I did use Lina because I did, because I did dig the, 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 the thing that she does AoE. She, it is pretty good. And also Ice Abyss, although I hardly use her in those two bat matchups I'm going to show you later. And of course, I did use Almeida as a secondary healer in case if Rosen gets banned. Or sometimes I might end up uh, choosing both. It really depends on what kind of what kind of match am I going to compete against. Because sometimes you do need some kind of a heal off battle rather than like a full on DPS. But heal, heal off battle usually doesn't really work in Languister in some scenarios, but as long as you can eliminate the enemy's uh, DPS, you should be good to go. And have your tank be like a semi-DPS while you're at it. I think that's what the strategy is for this account. But of course, it's not that viable as of currently because, you know, meta has shifted a lot. And also to make things a bit worse on this ult is that the the, the heroes I have on, the, on here as options are pretty limited. Like, it has Andreo, but does not have a soda. So you can imagine that this is going to be hard. But thankfully, it didn't It didn't actually be that hard for, for this account, at least. Like I said earlier, matched against players who are similar strength. Like this one. So anyways, I'm going to show you the two replays, and I'm going to explain what, what happened on those matches. And these matches aren't as long as I, as I was thought, so keep that in mind. So anyways, um, I'm going to silence myself and enjoy the replays.
帝国に逆らう者は必ず撃つ元気のこと。
Okay, let's talk about what has transpired in, in the matches here. So the first one, we, we fought against uh, Artemis Hunter, which I believe Ar the name Artemis is like a mythology or Norse kind of name. But anyways, uh, let me know in the comments if you believe it's like a, myth like a Norse or mythology. Yeah, I, I kind of think because the reason why I know this kind of pronunciation is because um, I I did play Fortnite, which is a bit strange, but it, um, there's actually a skin called Artemis in the game, but it's actually based on the, the Greek gods of some sort. But anyways, uh, we're getting off topic, so let's uh, let's stay on language for 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 the time being. So anyways, as you can see here, these are the boxes that I use. Like the 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 box on, on the left side is the one I use on the alt account. And as you can tell, this box is a bit weird in some ways. Like, for one, you notice that Caroline is there as well as Amelia. Uh, yep, it, it, they're, they're both pretty much an oddball in, in, the, in the box. But however, they did serve their purpose for, for, my, for my box, at least. So, at least on the second, uh, on the second match. The first match, uh, I, I didn't use them because, you know, Amelia's banned and Caroline... I don't see much use of her yet because you know she's not really needed in this kind of match, to be honest. And also, you may notice that I do have Z two uh, summon on this account, but here's the thing: uh, Z two is not built during that time, so I wasn't able to box her in. So that's why you don't see her in this box. 
So, anyways, uh, so anyways, the first the first band was uh, Rosen Seal, which as you can see from the replay here. And I went ahead and banned his Rosen Seal as well because I don't want her to cause some problems for my team. And went for Almeida because I didn't, what other choice do I have for the healer? Because you know, I really don't feel comfortable if one of my healers gets banned. Because you know, usually when that happens, you have no source of healing. But of course, that doesn't mean it's impossible to win. It's just that it is going to be hard to win without a healer. And on the second, like the two bands, uh, they, one of them was Emilia, which is a bit weird because you know, Emilia isn't that good anymore. But I guess that person didn't, didn't understand the, like the meta has shifted. So yep, Emilia still is there as like a, you know, a backup tank. Of some sort, and I went for SP Leon, which um again I think this unit is okay, back in the day, but now he's a bit of a niche, but of course he can he can still be usable, and also as far as I've heard, the recent update added his casting, which makes him even better, which will boost all cavalry units, that all cavalry allies with the chivalry effect, which is pretty awesome. So it's kind of like a mini faction buff, but for calves. Which is awesome. And I went ahead and banned his Z2 and Cherie because I don't want all those shenanigans going at me. Like Z2 possibly doing some like a, you know, revive disabling. And then Cherie with Guard Ignore. That is that's gonna be annoying to deal with. So yep, since my one of my tanks is already banned, I had to pick a tank. Otherwise I'll be tankless. So I went for Christian as my tank. Which honestly by far is probably way better choice than Amelia as a whole, but there are actually some stuff that are actually that Christian can do, which of course infinite counter range. She doesn't have that. Like I think Amelia is the only one with a this encounter, but if you count Landius' soldiers, then yeah, she's not the only one. But the only the only one that but that didn't really count because you know Amelia herself can't this encounter infinitely, like with an infinite range. Like she can also do that along with her soldiers, the the Elven spear throwers. Th those ones are. With her, so yeah, that basically means that she can range counter attack at any range with her soldiers now, which is pretty awesome. I mean, that has been like this for quite some time now. I I think it was like, oh, I think more than a year, or I may be wrong. I don't know when was the Elven Spear Throw was introduced, but during that time when Amelia was like getting a bit of a traction, and also she was probably one of the first four to have her new casting enable available. To use. Anyways, moving on. Lena and Ice Abyss is banned, which I uh, expected because, you know, these two are dangerous. And especially in rush oriented teams. And went for Tiara's healer, which, um, eh, you, you could have picked a healer in big begin with, but I guess you do you because I'm not going to ban your healer right off the bat. I'm not that crazy. Uh, Ledin and Freya banned because I didn't want. Let him to drag my units around, as well as Freya doing some fixed damage. So these two are gone. And that leaves him tankless. Which, um, yeah, I, I don't know. In some cases, you don't want to have, like, just two tanks because you're you're prone to get, get the, the, your tanks banned and leave you not, no tanks. It really depends on what kind of box you're running. So if you're using Rush, then that's totally fine because you don't need tanks. In some scenarios, but you 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 need to secure one just in case if your if the strat has changed. And I secure my Andy. And then my opponent went banned Lucretia and Grinchio. They both are strong. Although Lucretia is um bit of a, all right, but but Grinchio definitely a right choice because Grinchio can still be usable, especially she can disable the tanks, which um. Although I don't think that ban is is justified because since the the box the remaining units that aren't aren't banned yet didn't have didn't have guard skills so yeah I don't think that's a good ban honestly because I mean Grand Shield can still be a threat with the with the ice with a cold shield but other than that I could have banned something else like maybe Poly or Apotheosis but whatever. And I chose a Dank Elmo, like, although I have originally thought about, like, a, you know, having a Dank Elmo with her exclusive will be better, because, of course, it is better. But the thing is, during this time, the, this a Dank Elmo do not have her exclusive, so that means she's not going to slow down enemies at all. Which is bad. 
to to say the least. And he went ahead and banned my Lightbringer and uh, Polly, all which is all right, I guess. And then the final bands, I went for D-Lit and Rosalia. I don't want them to cause some more healing problems, as well as uh, Rosalia had the chance of like reducing the attack range. Although Rosalia, I gotta say, uh, Rosalia is a uh, is okay, but it's just uh, not meta wise anymore. She used to be meta back in the day when she was first launched, which I think it was, which I think it was like years ago. I don't remember which year it was, but. That was the time when Tensei faction was really new, and there are not many units on there. Yeah, I don't remember when exactly was that. So, yeah. So as you can see here, these are the positions for both sides, and as you can tell, those stats right here they're kind of below average. But of course, this makes up for it because this matchup is a uh, fair, fair matchup because. Like, this, this player is also inexperienced, just like this account is. So, yeah, it's fair game for both both sides. And I do a first move like I, I usually would on my main account, which of course move my tank forward to set up for for incoming, like for, for like a set up for an attack. And I gotta confirm this. Yep, it is confirmed that during this time, uh, I don't have a Dengalmo's uh, exclusive. So. She won't be slowing anyone down with those portals. It's just there to transport them to a to a closer a uh, closer to the enemy. I actually think you need to do that, so that way Andy will be taking our action, but this battle is not necessary because this battle is short. I put on Amida's uh, reflector to prevent the debuffs onto them. <laughs> and I went in with Gotham and he's going after Leon. Originally I was thinking about going after Tiaris, but I ultimately ended up going Leon because Leon is dangerous. I don't want I don't want him to cause some problems. And also after killing him, uh, I was able to like I was able to like make Tiara's lose control, and that was enough to make him leave the battle, because he already lost his DPS, like the, his main DPS. I don't think Sofano would do much on top of that. So yeah, that cost him the entire game. One unit de death cost the entire game. And I'm gonna move on to the next match, which is a bit longer than this one. So yep, uh, be right back. Here we are, here's another match. This one is gonna be a bit longer. And this time I'm starting as P2. And also right off the bat, I went ahead and banned the Ice Abyss on that side. And then the opponent also banned Ice Abyss because freezing problems. They're they're pretty they're pretty dangerous. Especially from the one only LR. Although rarities don't really matter, but the 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 abilities do matter. So yeah, they we both both ultimately end up uh banning the Ice Abyss. And it went for AO and then I went ahead and banned Oboro and a Dan Gamma because I I've, I've seen how crazy Oboro was and I think it still applies to this day. Like being able to like attack enemies without fear of like retaliation, but yeah, that kind of stuff and also guard ignore. I do not want to deal with that dragon in this kind of battle. So I end up banning both of them. And also, I think I'm possibly she might have exclusives, so I'm not going to let her put portals to slow my, slow my team down. So I just knew that this AO is already deployed. I went ahead and picked Rosen Seal to like neutralize it. And went ahead and banned my AO and uh, Apotheosis, uh, which is fine. I'm not going to use Apotheosis. In this battle, and went for Tiaris, like the the enemy went for Tiaris, and uh, yeah, Tiaris healer is all right, but is is a bit outdated because there are other better healers out there. But I don't know. It, I think I think it's because this person doesn't have the OP healers that that uh that was released, so they it, it would just choose wherever wherever they have. Okay, so Juggler and Liana Ban. I don't want Juggler to cause some problems when I'm doing AOE. And so I picked Lena as my second one. 
Like in, in case you guys forgot how Juggler works, is that it, if uh, Juggler takes damage within the AOE range or whatever, like it could be a single target attack, uh, he will heal after battle uh, as long as he survives, which can be annoying for AOE plays. Because in most in most plays, you will see him grouped up with the uh, with the teammates because he's also a tank. And speaking of tanks, uh, he banned my two powerful tanks, Lightbringer and Christian. So I had to pick Amelia here. After my bans, of course, I banned his uh, Waytham and Cherie uh, self-explanatory. I don't want Waytham to do some despair and possibly bypasses my tank. And then Cherie. Guard ignore, same thing. And yep, like I said earlier, secure Emilia. And Emilia is probably my weakest one, but al although the reason why I have Emilia in the box is because she is 10 casted. I should have said that in the beginning, but. Anyways, Andy and Polly ban. We won't be using Andy in this match. That's fine. Hilda deployed. Uh, Iron Blood Commander or IBC, and then Helena banned. And I went for Grand Shield because we are fighting a tank. Lucretia and Dankamo ban, we won't be using that. Went for Elwyn instead of a girl in the shell, which is a bit odd. Uh, but I mean, it, I think it kind of makes sense because Leon is on the board. And also, I'll, and also for the final pick, I was thinking about getting Caroline, but since I'm fighting against a bunch of those uh, mad madness on the other team, I think it's better if I go for Almeida, so I went for Almeida instead. So that way I have two healers on the team, both pink hairs. Funny enough, but one of them is a goddess. Okay. We are game two. This is the second game against, uh, against another player. So anyways, as you can see here, these are the positions that these heroes have right at the moment. And I gotta say, the, in case guys have some, I mean, all of you should have probably seen it by now, but there are just some funny things going on in this replay, which I'm gonna show you shortly. So we just basically set each other up for our fun moves. So I just use my Amelia to tank. Although Amelia isn't gonna do much in this battle because she dies too quickly. Which, uh, which is the only flaw that she has. I keep thinking if they wanna keep her relevant or whatever. They're gonna to have to upgrade her to F2 because that's the only option they have left. And this is the one I was talking about, the funny thing that happened. Uh, yeah, apparently AO is trying to trying to chain my Lena and Grenchio, but ultimately chaining herself. Which is uh which is funny. Not gonna lie. So that means uh, she just slowed herself down, which is hilarious. Like when I first saw it, I was like, what in the world? I I never seen that interaction before. Like having that chain go back on on AO is funny. I don't know. Th this kind of feeling is like making me want to laugh. Like I believe I did this with while streaming in in voice chat in Discord earlier in the in of course uh, official Zilong Games server. I'm just like I'm just like streaming my the, the game on the alt account, and then I went and came across this kind of play. I was like. What? Yeah, like this, 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 uh, this team comp could be OP, but, but it could be better if this was the end. Anyway, you, you, get, you get my point. Like, having Rosenfield and Almeida together makes the debuff near impossible to apply to them. Because some debuffs will be either reflected back or just completely cancelled. <laughs> And this is gonna hurt for my team. Yeah, as you can see, Leon just one shot my tank, which is not supposed to happen in most, uh, in general, like tank uh, role. And also, one thing I noticed that his AOE doesn't really hit my Amelia, so that's telling me that he is he's not a balance blade Leon. So he's like um something else. I don't know which one it was. I think it could be. I think it was, I think it was Seal Guardian, could be, or it could be some other weapon I'm not familiar with. And here comes Elwyn, still on the attack, and he went for my Almeida, which um, could be bad for some situations, but I still have Golden Steel, so that that loss won't matter to me because you know I still have a healer. So that's technically the
And also, and also, I also just kind of noticed the like Grencho is actually in range, so he just carelessly moved Ko closer. And also, the tank is too close to it. So, yeah, he thought that the the tank won't no, override the, the, the nope. It just overrides the single. And go Ao. And also on the next turn, I. I and also on the next one, you see what I'm gonna do next. He's trying to damage my Renshu with Fioris, which most of the time is not gonna kill because Fioris is not meant for DPS. So as soon as that AO revives, I just straight up kill her. I don't want her to cause any issues for me. And uh, the opponent went for my Amelia, which successfully kills. And it wouldn't matter because I am just gonna kill off Elwyn with my remaining unit. At first I was worried that I might not be able to kill Elwyn, but thankfully Lena was able to, and the uh, best part is that she is 10 cast, so she's pretty much um, very strong on her own. And once again, Tiara is trying to give her a friend shield, which failed to do so. And I went in with the dragon blade. Is trying to heal up everyone, but herself cannot receive Miracle because of the buff loss. And I use Grand Shield to attack. Attack the tank. And that headwear kind of saved me there. Like, if the headwear did not activate, then I'll, I'll be in trouble. Well, not really in trouble, but I, I still had to. I, I still had to make like, enough units to make, make this possible win for me. I just gotta make sure Lina survives. And I use Grand Shield to body block so that way Dota will not reach my, will not reach my Lina. And one and then the, the opponent knew what was going to happen next, so so he ultimately uh, left because he lost the damage lead and there's no way to reach Lina by this point. So yep, he he went for surrender. And that wraps up the video. So hope y'all have a nice. So let me know if you have like tried to use like a whatever accounts you have to do Apex, which you normally wouldn't, or or you can just say like you only have one account and how far have you grinded in the in the season so far. Let me know in the comments and uh, have a good day, everyone.